Hello everyone, nice to meet you here again. Today I'm going to show you a new product. It's called armor case. You know, in the old age, the knight will wear the armor in the battle. And today we are going to wear armor to your Raspberry Pi so that the armor can protect your Raspberry Pi. And also it's a uh, a good cooling heat sink and uh, it's a big heat sink for your Raspberry Pi okay let's see that first of all uh, let's see the features of armor case it has durafine ultimate cooling and aluminum alloy and uh, it's a uh, CNC machine you can see that and it's very easy to mount to your Raspberry Pi. Uh, you can see that a super cooling case for Raspberry Pi. And here is a assembly guide. You can see that the the middle of the the picture is a Raspberry Pi and uh, two parts. It's a aluminum heat sink. And you can see that uh, it this version is just for uh, Raspberry Pi 2 mode B and the Raspberry Pi 3 mode B and next generation it will be support the Pi 3 mode B plus so it's a uh, generation one okay okay let's open the box you can see that there is a menu of this uh, this product. Uh, it's say how to set it up. Install the thermal tape to the heat sink, top both top and the bottom panel, and then set up your Pi to the bottom panel. The finally uh, put the top panel on your Raspberry Pi and use the screws that we provided to screw the case up. That's all. Oh, last step to connect the phone. Do remember to connect the phone to your uh, to the GPL pin header on your Raspberry Pi, so the the Raspberry Pi can offer five volts uh, power to your uh, dual phone. It's very cool. All right. Here is a uh, screws. You can see that. It's uh, M2.5, 2.5, M2.5 uh, schools for your case. And here are three thermal tape. You can uh, stick the thermal tape to your uh, heat sink. Ta -da. You can see that it's, it's from uh, it's CNC machining. It's very... Uh, very cool and let's see that the button of the heat sink it can well protect your Raspberry Pi from uh, from the outside you can see that it it's perfect fit to your Raspberry Pi and let's do it first take out the thermal tape and paste your thermal tape on your heat sink like this uh -huh. you can see that the position of your thermal tape is according to this picture and uh, let's try it remove the protect shield paste on your heat sink and remove the top of the layer so that it can stick to your Raspberry Pi 
on the back of the panel. You can see that. Just uh, put it on. Or okay, I have just uh, removed the protector plastic film from the heat sink, and then put it on top of my Raspberry Pi. It's perfect fit. You can see that. And then I need to put the screws and make sure it can be uh, fixed well. So let's try to put on the screws. You can just flip off the heat sink. So everything is fixed up, so you can just put the pin header to your uh, GPL pin from the GPL, alright? That's all. And the next step, I will uh, show you the... Um, process of my uh, uh, heat sink performance test all right just uh, waiting for the next generation of my video tutorial thanks for watching and hope you like it thank you bye bye turn off the fan and test it all right everybody I have turned on my Raspberry Pi and unplug the uh, dual fine let's say the temperature of my Raspberry Pi uh, in in core okay I wrote a well loop you can see the temperature of my Raspberry Pi is uh, about 49 49 degrees all right and then let's see that uh, no it's not this one use each top you can see that my three uh, my four CPU thread is not uh, uh, overload. All right, the load average the load average is very low, and the CPU uh, seems like uh, all of my CPU core uh, seems like to idle. All right, so. I have to push the temperature and uh, use the C-Spanch uh, to put my CPU running at 100% so I write down this command while true means uh, I, I will cre create a loop uh, do means uh, I, I will run in this command and it's a it's a time interval and down it's a, a syntax so that the main uh, command is sysbench test the CPU and the CPU max prime to uh, uh, 20,000 and use four threads means my CPU will push to 100%. All of my CPU, all right, will uh, running at 100% load. So let's try it. You can see that the CPU. I pushed my CPU to 100%.
uh, in usage and then you can see the temperature is uh, running high and let's just wait for a few minutes during this time my uh, Raspberry Pi just uh, uh, mounted with a uh, with, uh, armor case I don't connect the uh, dual fine so that without a fine the temperature is going uh, going high you can all right the temperature is going to about 17 70 degrees all right okay you can see the temperature of the average temperature is about 70.9 center degree and then let's hook up the uh, dual fines cable to my GPL, GPL pin header let's see that let's hook up the GPL pin header to the to the Raspberry Pi and the last the lasted for a few minutes it will stay on sixteen sixty two point three uh, degrees center degree so uh, the temperature has been slow down.